was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This is not going to be a first impression because I've already tried this twice. I feel like first impressions don't necessarily give me a good feel for the foundation. I just want to have an informed opinion. With makeup products, I feel like I have to try them a couple times to really get a grasp if they're going to be something I want in my collection or not, or if I'm reaching for it every day. So since I have tried this foundation twice, I feel like I have a decent idea about how this foundation wears. Ideally, I would like to try this a couple more times before I give my review, but I did want to get this out to you guys so you could have kind of an idea of what to expect if you did want to pick this up. So a brief informativeness. So just a brief description about this foundation. This is called the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid, coconut water. It does not have coconut oil, so if you are sensitive to that, like the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow that does have coconut oil. This is a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting, medium to buildable coverage for natural, healthy looking skin. It does say to prep your skin with the Pretty Fresh Primer. I did pick up that primer. I have not used it with it yet. I figured I would try that for you guys on camera. I think I heard that that one has coconut oil too. What is up with coconut oil? Just like, go away. Nobody wants you on their skin. Yeah, Pretty Fresh Primer does have coconut oil. I'm not trying to say that everything with coconut oil is bad for you. I'm just saying I'm not sure if my skin likes coconut oil yet. But yeah, let's just <laughs> cover up my face. Please, please. I look so like round. My face is round. Thank you, quarantine. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this primer to the left side of my face, your right. Well, kind of half a pump. I didn't want to use all of it. it. Smells very fresh. Pretty fresh. So stupid. Oh, I definitely smell the coconut. It smells like a banana boat sunscreen, but lighter, not as heavy. That does feel pretty nice and pretty fresh. <laughs> oh my God, just stop. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So I did want to test this primer out because like I said, I haven't been testing it with any primers. I've just, did I say that? I don't know. I haven't been testing it with any primers. I have just been using it on its own. The first time I tried this foundation, my skin was on the edge of being a little bit dry. And then earlier today when I tried it, I did wear it for like six hours. I noticed that it was looking a little dewy. So I think this foundation is really gonna depend on your skin type, whether you have oily, dry, normal, any of that stuff. So let's test this out. This sunk in pretty well. I actually do really like that scent though. It does smell good. And while this side is soaking in, I'm gonna go cover up this side because I need to. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't break me out. Why am I trying this today? This is probably, I, I don't know. I shouldn't have tried that probably. Oh well, okay. Wow, I am on one today. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with, okay, and by the way, I'm not sure if you can see these scratches on my hands and my arms, but like I said in my last video, we just got a new puppy and he is a German Shepherd, so they call them little baby sharks and he is a little baby shark and he just wants to bite me all day, every day. Show us your little shark teeth. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. So I am like ripped up to shreds. <laughs> so just don't mind that. So I'm gonna do, well, there we go. That's about a full pump right there. You can see it is a little bit runny, which I actually like my foundations like that because I feel like they do tend to be light, lighter weight, more weightless. You know what I'm saying. Let's go in. So again, this said this was gonna be a medium coverage foundation buildable. I will say after trying this, I do think that this is a solid medium coverage, just plain right in the middle, medium coverage. I was able to build it a little bit, but I'm not seeing like this is going to be super, this isn't going to be a full coverage foundation. If you're looking for full coverage, I, this is not going to be for you, but if you're just wanting like an everyday kind of medium coverage, I think this falls right in that medium category. I also did not say what shade I have. 
I grabbed the shade Fair 30N and it is a tad bit dark for me. It's hard to see that it's dark indoors. Like right now this looks perfect, but when I go outside I can see it's a little tad bit too peach and a little bit dark. Talking about shades, the shade range, I think they had 42 shades. So a pretty good foundation range, but I don't remember the balance of the shades. I think it was pretty solid, like two rows of fair light, two of medium and two of deep. So hopefully that's correct. Sometimes you get foundation ranges that like, oh, they have 40 some shades, but they're not balanced. So that's something I try to look at too, is, is it a balanced shade range? I did try this with a sponge and with a brush. I tend to like most of my foundations with a brush, but I didn't really soak in too bad with a sponge. I do think you are gonna get lighter coverage though. So if you like sponge, go for it. I think it works, but expect maybe lighter coverage. So you can see I have half my face done. It definitely covered up some redness, but I can still see things peeking through. As I said before, I think this is a straight medium foundation. I have a hard time kind of building it up. I can still see a little bit of pinkness from these breakouts going on. So if you're someone that has a lot of acne or stuff you want to cover, I don't know if you would love this because it is just that solid medium. So far you can see my skin has a decent glow going on. I did notice when this foundation sets down, it is a very natural, almost satin type of finish, which is my favorite. I don't like my skin to look overly dewy to where I look like I'm greasy or wet. And I don't like my skin matte because it really emphasizes texture. It makes me look really dry. This is that foundation that sits right in the middle there. Um, I'm feeling a little bit greasy on the side. Yeah, a little greasy, a little coconut oily. Okay, so I'm taking most of what I have left there and here we go. You can go away now. So I used up about a full pump there. I still have my forehead to get. I do want to do a little bit more building. So I'm going to go in with about a half of a pump. Like there. When I use a brush, I tend to try to move it out and get it all over my bristles so I can evenly dispute it. And when I do use a brush, I use a patting motion like this rather than a buffing motion because that's going to give you less coverage. So if you are someone that likes a brush or maybe wants to try a brush, I would definitely recommend doing it in a padding motion like this. Why am I padding <laughs> with my face? Let the brush do it, Tosh. You just talked about yourself in third person. You are a loser. I'm apparently going back in with my second layer because I just, I'm not feeling it. Um, it kind of looks the same. I don't know if the primer really did that much other than it's probably gonna make me a little greasier looking. So if you have dry skin, I mean, I do have dry skin. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of bummed about that primer. I didn't realize it had coconut oil until after. I am using the rest of what is left on my hand. So I did go in with a pump and a half basically for my full face. And since this is a little darker, I am going to run this down my neck a little bit. I think this will be a good shade if I were to go in the sun, which I won't because I am a vampire. If you guys have watched any of my other videos or follow me on Instagram, you know that I used to be a correctional officer. Well, some of the inmates would say that my eyes were so dark that I looked like a vampire and because I was so pale. And then my hair was red, so I was like a demon vampire is what they would like to call me. So I did use a pump and a half on my face. I already said that like five times, but I used a pump and a half. There you go, it was just another time. I do think, like I said, I have a solid medium coverage here. It built up just a little bit, but not to like full coverage or anything. And I know full coverage is kind of, what is the word for that? Subjective? Yeah, that's that's the word. There it is, light bulb. I know that coverage is very subjective to the person. For me, full coverage is, it's gonna completely cover up my acne. Like I'm not gonna be able to see anything through my skin. I am very tough when it comes to full coverage because I did struggle with cystic acne and people would always be claiming, oh, this is full coverage, this is full coverage. No, it's not, it's not. Your skin is perfect, so you don't realize that it's not actually full coverage. I'm sorry, like, someone had to say it, okay? If you have perfect skin and you're claiming full coverage, girl, you don't know nothing, okay? You don't know nothing. So when I say full coverage, I mean full coverage, okay? And despite how much I did not like my breaking out skin, it's normal, people's skin breaks out, it's okay. And it was a good tester for this foundation. So 
Thank you. Pharmacy honeymoon glow. <laughs> Not. I'm gonna go ahead and let this set down and finish the rest of my face and I will be right back to complete my thoughts. And we are back. Okay, so let's wrap up the thoughts here. This foundation doesn't fully set down. It stays a little bit tacky, which for me, I like a little bit of tackiness, not too much, because then it keeps it flexible on your face. So stuff isn't gonna sink into your lines as much. It's not gonna look as drying and cr cracky, crepey, crusty. But if you are someone with oily skin, I would probably set this down. Typically for people with oily skin, I would recommend setting down foundation. When I had oily skin pre-Accutane, my skin looked like it was wet all the time. Like my skin looked like this all the time. So as you can see, there's still a lot of glow going on. I think if you're someone like me who does not like to set down their foundation, this is a foundation you can get away with probably not setting it down. It is a little tacky, like I said, but it's manageable and it's not overly dewy. So let's really wrap it up. Yes, this is a medium foundation, solid medium foundation, not really buildable. I'm sure you could sheer it out to have less coverage. So right in the middle, not too dewy, not too matte. Satin, natural finish. I love that. This foundation does feel pretty lightweight. When I wore it earlier today, I almost forgot I was wearing foundation, which I really love that. So that is a bonus of having a very liquidy foundation is that it doesn't feel heavy. Shade range, I believe, is very good. I do think I remember it being very balanced. Go ColourPop. Also, I wanna say that I don't think the primer made much of a difference. It kind of feels the same on both sides. Me, personally, I do like this foundation. I think it's a great everyday foundation. It's just right in the middle. It's just, it's just right. But there's also nothing super special about it. So I think this is a foundation I would just grab just to grab. Do you know what I mean? Like if you just have those foundations in your collection, like you would just use them up. I do really wanna try this foundation with different primers underneath to see if I can make it just a little bit better. But overall, I really like it and I think it's a very safe foundation. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's nice to have a foundation that you can kind of just rely on, grab, don't have to think about it. Just an easy foundation. And I feel like this is pretty good for almost everybody. If you have oily skin, I'm kind of on the fence. And if you would like this, I'm sure if you set it down, it would make it a lot better. But this is definitely geared toward like that normal to dry skin type. I guess if I had to rate this like a whatever out of 10, I would probably rate it around a six or seven, which I think is good. I mean, like if I'm gonna rate it a 10, it's gotta be like a perfect foundation, like CYO Life Proof, my favorite foundation so far. Let me give you just a little bit of a close up. You can still see, you can still see I have breakouts showing through. But I think overall it looks pretty nice. Pretty fresh. Looks pretty nice and pretty fresh. Okay. Just By the way, isn't this shirt just like adorable? <laughs> my husband hates it. I know I started off with my channel talking about my Tasha's Hall of Fame, my first 100 or 1,000 subscribers. If you are subscribing, leave a comment down below and say which number subscriber you are, just so you can remember, I can remember. Cause I do want to keep track of those. I've just been really crappy at keeping track. So I'm sorry, but I would really like to kind of gather who my first 100 subscribers are. Cause you guys are the champions. Cause you're here while I'm trying to learn how to do all this shit and making a fool of myself. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe just please do it. It's really hard putting in hours and hours of work just to get like 70 views. I'm still thankful for the 70 views, but it would be nice if I could have a little more views. You know, it might make me a little more motivated to put more videos out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you will come back for the next one. That's awkward. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Thank you so much for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. How good is this foundation? Is it gonna cover up this hot mess? <laughs> that is the real question. Hello, mm, how are my hands? You know, I have to like get into it and feel it. I just gotta feel it, okay. Always the clap, always the clap, such a cheerleader. Every time, every time. What are you saying? What are you trying to say? You're four minutes in, come on, girl. Get with it. Hurry up, so you can get some makeup on, hurry up. So I did feel like I was a little bit on a time crunch, like I 
I'm not, I'm not on a time crunch. Nobody, nobody cares what you have to say. You have like 50 followers. It's, uh, I think you can get away with that with this. That sounded weird. Why do those words sound so weird? I think you can, I, I think you can get away. What is that so hard to say? I think you can. Oh, that's how I knew it. I guess I'm not